Blessings, beautiful souls. I am Sonia Leskis, and this is your love message. What is coming toward you in love for 2024? If you want to close your eyes, take a deep inhale, breathe in the breath of God with me, dropping in your heart's face, calling forward your Son of Masters, your Spirit Guides, and Angels. We are the Violet Flame. We are a prayer of God desire. Take another deep inhale. Holy Spirit, we ask that you purify each cell, each tissue, each internal organ with the light of God. Calling in the holy angels, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, Sandifan, and Metatron. By the authority of Jesus Christ, we cast out lower energies, transmuting them to the light of God. Take a deep inhale in your heart, coming heart-centered, back in alignment with God's truth and God's purpose. Welcome back. Okay. So I'm getting new love is on the horizon, but somebody here is resisting it. So the singing bowl was having a difficult time. Somebody was trying to block new love. Somebody here has been talking about, there's been a discussion here. Someone wants to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. There's a lot of passion, and this is a commitment that is coming true. Now, you may not trust this because some of you are feeling resistant. My throat chakra is really... Some of you don't want to believe in new love. Thank you, ladies, bro. make the effort you're going to have to make the effort and trust so for some of you your feelings are real and worth exploring your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so be mindful you and this person may not share the same values hmm. someone here needs to let go of control issues and your ex is still coming up in the energy. So if you are still holding on to your ex from anger, that's why they're still coming in collective readings. Some of you might be asking, why can't I get rid of them? You need to release them. So for some of you, you may want to write your ex a letter. This is how you know you're healing, is you have forgiven them. And I know this person did a lot, but when you can get to a point where you're in forgiveness and holy love, that's how you know you're healed you will be able to give your new relationship a chance. For some of you, your person, your new person could have children. You could have children. So be playful. This is a good time to really focus on healing your inner child if you have not done so. And you have very soon. Clearly decide what you want. Some of you... This person from the past is still coming in, trying to deceive you. They're wanting to now express love. So there's two energies still here, clearly. Thank you, Elise. What else is coming in? I am walking home to you. I'm not sure when I'm on the path, but I am walking it. Our love is eternal. It exists in every dimension and cannot be lost. So June 11th could be a significance. That could be someone's birthday. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Please don't give up on me. I'm trying to change, but it takes time. I'm looking for a way out of this situation so I can be free. So I'm getting for some of you, your new person is going through a similar situation that you've gone through in the past. Our mission is to be unconditional love. Clearing our programming is a necessary part. Keep your heart chakra opening. Are you keeping your heart chakra open? Five, five, change. If you open your heart chakra, change will come in very quickly. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I know in my heart we'll be together one day, and that helps me trust. Let's keep working on us. July 8th could be a significance. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm conflicted about whether I have what it takes to be your partner. Somebody here is still working on feeling worthy enough for this connection. When our conversations are lighthearted and playful, it's easy. It eases the tension that sometimes they're there when we talk. So for some of you, this person could be connecting to you on the higher realms. Separated or together, we are working in tandem with each other. So some of you could be getting messages from this new person. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Sometimes I feel like you're speaking to me in my head. It's triggering me because I wonder how much you can see into me. Words have hurt me in the past, and that's why I fear talking to you. 
so someone here is still healing. I'll contact you when I'm able to right now. My life is too complicated to bring you into, but no, what I do want is to talk to you. Someone here still has a little more healing, or perhaps you still have some more healing to do. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Denial, they believe their own lies and mad you don't believe them. Help and be helped. So this could be your last person. Help and be helped. I embrace endings that serve my higher self. Someone still needs to let go of their ex. I am the violet flame. I am pretty of God's desire. I help transmute lower energies. So if somebody is coming at you with lower energies, negative energies, you are here and being instructed to transmute them. You can call in on St. Germain, Holy Spirit, or Lord Jesus to help you. Someone's initial could be us. This could be happening this, this year that you're receiving new love. It's not for everybody. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You have Libra C, B, P, E, Peck. Anything else, Holy Spirit? You have W, Angels are with you. You have D, K. Anything else? Do you speak divine truth? You have another W, L, R, R, L, R, C. You have an S, E. Anything else? Well, I spread. F, E. Another S, S, I. FM Fem. You are the Divine Feminine. Yay. Did we get any? We didn't bring. Oh, let's get guidance for the Divine Feminine. A time to detangle relationships that are no longer serving your higher self. Today I sent you a feather for your worries. This is my deck, Angel Whispers. I love myself enough to receive love. So somebody here still needs to open their heart to receive love so new love can come in. For the Divine Masculine Holy Spirit, I deserve the love I give. I take time to learn to love myself. Someone here still needs to love themselves. We all have to be prepared for change. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are here to wipe your tears to guide you on your journey. Someone here is crying. Bathe yourself in a beautiful waterfall of the love, divine love and light. We cannot love and judge at the same time. Love them instead. You are standing on the verge of greatness. Rest if you're tired but don't give up. I hope you enjoyed your message. I'm sending you so much love. I hope you have a blessed new year. Bye.